So your courage um, to be fearless, right? Um, where did that come from? Where did you, how did you arrive at that? Was that something you were born with? Something you learned from uh, at a company you worked for or somebody showed you? Or where did that, that courage come from? I, I, think, I think it comes from just being very calm. I would hope people would say that I'm calm, cool, and collected. If, if someone described me right, very few things bother me. Very few things upset me. And I'm, I'm extremely optimistic, which I think is really important in being a business owner. Pessimism kills more businesses than, than anything. Yeah. So this idea of being eternally optimistic when I'm playing golf, you know, if I'm, if I've hit three bad shots and there's a chance I could hole out from hundred yards to make par, I'm thinking there's, I've still got a chance. Yeah. Wait, there, you know, I still got a chance. So I'm, I'm eternally optimistic. And I think it comes from that. And, um, you know, the thinking that I've done more difficult things than this, I can certainly get through, you know, whatever's, being presented to me, you know, Harlan, what you're doing right now, public speaking, that's the number one fear in the world. Sure. People fear that more than death. I know. <laughs> right. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy. It, it sounds crazy to you and I, but there are people who, who we know who would be fearful of standing in front of a microphone like you are right now, yeah. facilitating this discussion. And I think if you want to do great things in life, you've, You've got to rid yourself of that fear. However you do it, you've got to have confidence in your abilities. 